I don't know how this happened. With the sun getting up in the sky higher, I thought it was a perfect time to shift the solar panel. As I lifted it up to try to put the piece of two by four underneath it, my ladder just kind of gave way in the slate rock and I kind of let go of the panel and slid down, caught myself, and the panel came down, boom, and shattered the center window. <laughs> uh, April Fools. Welcome inside the PSGF, everybody. The passive solar green frame feeling very, very good on this April Fool's Day. Uh, did I get you? Probably not. I'm a horrible April Fool's guy. One of my favorite ones to date is Mr. Nigel Saunders. Go check out a couple of April Fool's ago and his uh, wiring of pine needles. We like movement in our bonsai trees. That is not what the show is about today. Instead of an April Fool's, I want to celebrate... Um, a new month and possibly a new member to the YouTube family that might start to be able to monetize if he so chooses to do that. And I'm, of course, talking about my friend and co-YouTuber, Steve, from Steve's Backyard Boneside. Now, this video will be short and sweet. I just want to bring attention to the immaculate work that our friend Steve does over there on the East Coast. Steve's Backyard Bonsai has been a part of my regular viewing for quite a long time now. And if there's nothing else I appreciate more than Steve is his attention to detail and his incredible patience to get it all right. And though like the rest of us hobbyists in the YouTube world that we all seem to watch together, um, going back and forth from him, her, them, the effort to try to learn and to do better work. And Steve does it better than uh, most people out there, in my opinion, because of that sheer dedication. And when you watch Steve's Backyard Bonsai, you know he's in his place. Whether you're with Nigel in the Bonsai Zone or in the PSGF, or you're in a different country watching someone working on beautiful bonsai uh, with a mountain in the background, you know, the passion that Steve has for his craft is obvious. And what what a what a great guy. I mean, Steve, you are just you're just you seem incredibly humble. I haven't met Steve up to, up close and personal. Steve, this summer, the road trip, you and I collaborate on a YouTube video. Think it over. I think I'm heading your way this summer. Uh, keep my fingers crossed. We'll talk about that later. Steve, I just so appreciate you and all you do with bonsai. And of course, because I'm a forest nut. I want to break a little bit about a couple of your episodes that I would like everybody to go check out if you have not already. So as of the recording of this right now in the PSGF on April Fools, my buddy Steve in the backyard was at about 994 or 95 subscribers looking for that magic number of 1,000. Let's all push them over and get them to 1,000. Go subscribe to my friend Steve's Backyard Bonsai. So here's why I like Steve so much with the work he does. He's patient, he's diligent, his attention to detail, second to none, and I just love his creation. So let's talk about a few of those, okay? First up, and fairly recently, Steve put together his Dawn Redwood Forest. It's a couple of part series, check that out. I love his pre-thought process with the lamination. You'll see that on one of the pictures, the lamination of a piece of paper with all where his trees are gonna go. Steve thinks this through. Uh, Steve, you are an artist through and through. And so this Dawn Redwood, though we've seen no leaves yet, I can't wait to see this forest later on this year. So forest number one, excellent work. Go check out the Dawn Redwood Forest part one and part two. Another forest I can't wait to see with the new flush of growth and going through the season and losing the golden foliage at the end of fall is the large forest with the winding road. So go check that one out. There's a couple picks here for you to look at with the large forest. Now there's some big trees in there. He's got some trimming to do. He wants some sun to get to some of the other sides that didn't get as much sun. Watch the large forest in those episodes um, 
as that starts to mature with that nice winding road. He does such great penjing work. I love forests, and Steve seems to have a hunkering for those forests as well. I think if you ask him, it's one of his favorite things to do is those forests. We went from the Dawn Redwood and the Larch Forest to this. His wild grapes. Yeah, so he's made this wild grape scene, this penjing, and the last episode I just watched is when he put these little miniature uh, daisies into these little terracotta pots, and he's got the slanted poles there, and he's got some foliage and some grapes. So we're all going to go to Steve's house and have a nice glass of wine in about 25, 30 years. Yeah, well, it might be a little sip, but wouldn't that be pretty cool? Steve, awesome job. The creativity and the thought behind what you do, again, is marvelous. This is Steve's Backyard Bonsai. And the last one I want to brag about, and that's it. Short and sweet. You don't have to skip to the end of this one because it's going to be under 10 minutes. Here we go. My absolute favorite. During one of the landscape challenges that was going around a couple of years ago or last year. Was it two years ago or last year, I think? Time has gone by so fast. Central Park. Oh my gosh, everybody, check out Central Park. So Steve's got the miniature people. He's got the benches. And if you watch how he did this, everybody, he put each of those stones in one piece at a time. The dedication, the patience. Oh my gosh, the vision. And then the final shot of this series of three, Central Park in fall. Steve? I bow down to you, my hat's off for you, and Steve, I hope you already got to a thousand by the time most people are watching this video. If he's not at a thousand, come on y'all, go check out Steve's Backyard Bonsai. He's not giving me anything for this. I just appreciate his work so much. In the last year, he and I have exchanged a lot of back and forth, and uh, Steve, I'm serious. When I head out uh, east, I hope you're available for a quick little collab. In the meantime, Steve, and everybody else, after you go check him out, hey, take care of you, take care of your bonsai, and we'll catch all of you very, very soon.